Hey there, welcome back to Let's Stay Home. I'm Cody. And I'm Kara. And today's video is all about organizing your pantry. We might be moving soon, but we really needed our pantry to be organized. Considering we're cooking so much, being home, and at the end of the day, just kind of would like to have a nice pantry, we were like, we're not gonna wait anymore. Even if we're moving soon, all this stuff can come with us. And we totally redid our pantry. Now that we've gone through it and done the project, we want to share everything we've learned along the way with you, including some tips and tricks that we don't think other videos have. If you're looking to organize your pantry and your kitchen, make sure to do these three things before you get started. The first one is take inventory of what you have. Before you even get started, it is so important to understand the products in your pantry that you already have. You need a little more help organizing and maybe what you need to help you organize. So for us, we love cereal, so we needed stuff for cereal. We also have lots of different like flour and baking types of things because Cody loves making bread. So we really needed big jars to hold all of the flours and all of the things. Identify what those things are for you and this will be an even more successful process. The second tip is to just clean everything out. When you're going through your pantry, be sure to get rid of any older expired foods and goods. Anything that you don't want, go ahead and set aside and make sure that you can donate it to a local charity or food bank and wipe everything down. Vacuum everything, dust everything. As awesome as it is for things to look aesthetically pleasing when you redo your pantry, you also want to make sure that your pantry is actually clean because that's kind of the whole purpose of doing this, right? So take the time and deep clean that pantry. Tip number three is figure out the storage solution you need. When you're looking for a storage solution for your pantry, there's a few things you want to consider. You want to consider price, safety, your ability to expand or add on to that solution, and then of course how it looks or the aesthetic of it. When it comes to price, these storage solutions can be more expensive or you can opt for the dollar store and save a lot of money. From our experience, we do have to recommend that it is best investing in this. If this is something you want to use for quite a time to come, you're going to be much better off if you don't just go to the dollar store and get everything and have everything. You're getting what you pay for. So do consider this as an investment and you will definitely thank yourself later. When it comes to safety, there's typically two options, glass or plastic. Glass is the safer of the options, and if you do go with plastic, just make sure that it is BPA-free. Both are food safe. When you're looking for a storage solution, make sure to find one that you can add on to. That way, later down the line, when you get more, everything looks uniform and clean. And on the note of uniform and clean is the look or aesthetic. If you're doing this, there's probably a good chance that you've been on Pinterest and have been totally inspired and want your pantry to look like it could be right on Pinterest. If this is something that matters to you, and I would imagine it does, that's something to consider as well. There's tons of options. There's clear, white, colorful, anything you can think of. You can also get creative with aesthetic when it comes to labels, which we'll get to later. Now onto your pantry and giving it the upgrade it deserves. Tip one. Take measurements of your pantry and your cabinets. Storage containers come in all different shapes and sizes, and so does your pantry. Making sure to measure your pantry, that way when you go out shopping, you aren't getting the wrong size storage container. We have really tall cabinets, and that's really helpful to get really tall storage container options. However, if you do have smaller cabinets, that might be the best option for you. Tip two, take notes on exactly what you need for your storage. Whether you're heading to the container store or really any other place that sells any of these pantry organization items, you might get a little overwhelmed with exactly how many options there are these days. You have stuff for pasta, cereal, spices, and everything in between, and it can be kind of overwhelming. I don't know about you, but when we went, I was like, sure, just get everything. Just get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But if we would have done that, it would not have helped us at all. And we probably would have ended up with a bunch of empty containers that would do nothing for our pantry. Before you even head to the store or think about heading to the store, make sure to get a notebook or even do it on your phone, whatever works for you, and write down exactly all the things that have come out of your pantry and what it is that those things maybe weigh, how many ounces they are, or really what kind of size container they would need. So for example, if you have lasagna noodles, you might want to take into account how tall they are 
or how many ounces of maybe rice you have. So that way when it comes to the store and your shopping experience, you can make sure that you're buying a container perfectly for that thing you're trying to organize. And of course, after you take these notes and make this list, especially if you do it on paper, don't forget it, bring it with you. You will need this to make sure your shopping goes exactly how it needs to. Tip three, buy it and clean it. When you first get your storage containers, they need to be cleaned because during the manufacturing, they can get dust, little small particles, and other things you don't want in your food. The reason we mention this is because before we did this, we watched tons of videos, read tons of vlogs, and the one thing we saw no one doing- Are you really cleaning still or do you, are you fake cleaning? I'm fake cleaning. Okay, you're good. Tip four, draw it out and plan it. Before you put anything back in that beautifully clean pantry, do make sure that you make a plan for it. So some things you might wanna consider when you're planning exactly where some things go is one, how often you use them. For example, in our pantry, we use the top shelf for anything extra, any backups, anything we have from any bulk purchases that we get at places like Costco, because we don't use those every day. It takes me for sure a stool to get up there. Cody can get it without, but everything up there we don't use every day, so we kind of put it far out of reach. Be sure to put everything you use on a daily basis, like cereal or bread, things like that, at eye level or really just anywhere that are right in arm's reach. Tip five, fill things up and put them away. From cereal, snacks, and flour, make sure to fill them up and put them away where they need to go. Tip six, create your labels and add them to your containers. While you definitely could put labels on your containers as soon as you know what's going in them, you may wanna wait. And the reason this is, is because as you start to use these containers for a bit, you may kind of learn that you want different items in those containers. And if labels are going to be affixed onto them and can't really budge, you just wanna give yourself some time to figure out exactly what goes where. When you are ready to make your labels, you can get them from just about any office supply store. We've linked down below exactly the ones we've used. If you are using Canva or any design software, first when you go in, be sure to set the dimensions of whatever label you're creating to the labels you have. We used square ones, so I set the dimensions properly to that. And then I went ahead in designing how I did them. If you're interested in these labels, we've also linked those down below so you can use the exact same ones we use. It's free and you just print them off at your at-home printer. Once they're all printed off onto the labels, you can take them off and apply them to your organizers. And that's it. You should now have a completely organized pantry and you should be good to go for all of your cooking and organizational needs. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you did, be sure to like it and down below, be sure to subscribe as we have lots more home videos coming soon. And if you don't want to miss a single one, be sure to hit the bell so you'll be notified when we upload. If you want to see what other projects we have going on that aren't on YouTube quite yet, be sure to follow along with us on Instagram at Let's Stay Home and all our other social media channels are going to be linked in the description below. We'll see you next time. thought